All right, so this is a nice shaded region problem because it utilizes a, a couple different concepts that we, uh, we study uh, when it comes to circles and arcs and um, sectors and segments. Uh, if you notice, you actually have essentially um, three different things going on here. You have this shaded region, you have this shaded region, and then you have that shaded region. Now, it, it is very possible to find the um, area of each one of these. Um, first off, uh, let's look at the area of these two. Well, you're told that CD has a measure of 60 degrees. Well, that means that this angle is also 60. That's what it means to have an arc measurement of 60. That means the central angle 60, which means then that that angle is 60 degrees. And in a um, circle, those two lengths are both radius, so this means you have an isosceles triangle, which means that you have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Now, the good thing is, even though we don't know what this angle, uh, well, we do know what these angles are, these angles are both 120 degrees because they're um, linear pairs with the 60s. So the first part is to say that, and I'm just going to do one of them, so 120 over 360, right, times the area of the circle will give us the um, area of that sector. So the area of the circle, well, if AB is 12, and this is an equilateral triangle, then that EB is also 12, which means the radius is 12. So we multiply that f times 144 uh, pi, because that's the area of the circle, 12 squared pi. And that e ends up equaling, well, 1 third times 44 is just 48 pi. And that was the area of one of these, so we multiply it by 2, and that gets us 96 pi. So we've got 2 thirds of the problem done. All we have left to do is to find the area of this sector, well, no, that segment, well, that's pretty easy because it's just a 60 degree sec sector. So the same idea of what I just did, which equals 24 pi. And then you need to subtract away. So we did that, the sector AEB, right? This sector right here. And then we got to subtract away this equilateral triangle with side lengths 12. And if we know that the side length of an equilateral triangle, we can apply the formula, which is side squared. So 144 root 3 over 4. That simplifies to 24 pi minus 36 root 3. And so that's the area of that last segment. Add these together, and you end up with 120 pi minus 36 square root of 3 as your exact answer for the area of the shaded region.